wow this is really close up sorry first thing I'm gonna say is uh, sorry it's been so long I've been kind of in a slump for a little bit about filming so uh, I'm kind of starting back in with an easy one as you can tell I'm tearing apart a microwave I uh, I actually replaced my microwave on Black Friday, so that tells you how long I've been sitting on this video. And uh, my second apology is for this lens. It is very in my face. I have no zoom control. I actually dropped my original lens and broke one of the rollers, and then I fixed the roller, and as I was putting it back together, I was taking tweezers and pulling the ribbon cable back out for the electronics and I just tore it off so that one was toast so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear apart, the, tear apart this uh, microwave and I'm gonna show you guys what to keep what to throw away and there's always some variance with the type of microwave that you have and uh, uh, the different features that the microwave has like some has mechanical buttons you know those are really nice for keeping and um, yeah I think that's it just the, the type of buttons everything else you can keep and you can make things out of so let's get started now, all right so first things first let's see how this uh, comes apart with uh, sorry I'm trying to get in frame here all right comes apart with two Phillips and two Allen wrenches so let's do the Allen wrench first this. oh you know what they're they're tamper resistant screws I'll show you this in a little in a second here the first thing I want to show you guys is this screw right there it's got a little uh, a little nub in the center so what we're going to use is these bits that I have they have the little nub uh, removed so this this is a like a I got this at Ace Hardware in like the clearance bin section but it's come in handy more times than I can count okay so we're gonna have to find the right bit here. That might be it. So the first thing that you uh, might want to keep is this sheet metal. I'm not going to because I have plenty of scrap steel, but this is uh, this is steel. It uh, helps cage all of the rogue microwaves that come out of it. It's like the last line of the fence, so I'm, I'm just going to throw it away. But so. First thing is, uh, or second thing is this, uh, the power cord. So we, okay, that's not what I want to unplug. Come on. And just like the, uh, what to scrap from an old CRT TV, all the circuit boards in here have good components, good capacitors, good inductors, good resistors. Oh, this cord right here, very good to hold on to. I'm going to hold on to that. The next thing is this bad boy right here. Holy crap. This has a monster capacitor in it. I'm going to show you guys. Thank you. 
that right there that's a capacitor it filters out noise but man you charge that thing up it gives quite a shock the next thing this guy right here microwave transformer it's what I used to make my fractals in my fractal video except I have it all pretty up in a uh, in a box right there with a uh, display on it and my probes and my gloves for safety and all that so we're going to remove the transformer the capacitor uh, the motor for the fan and also the motor in here that spins that plate around inside and that'll be it for me but uh oh there's another capacitor right in there those ones are really good too oh yeah and uh right here this is the magnetron now if you don't want to do super illegal things with the magnetron now it's actually pretty hard to find an area to test this out at. In fact, the only real safe spot I can do this at is at that test the coil back there. Whenever I point this in the general direction of a plug, the breaker instantly flips. As you can see, when I shine the gun at the bulb, it instantly lights up. And by the way, that sound you can hear is when I point it towards that plug. Now the mic. But uh, come on, focus. But uh, there's two big disc uh, magnets in there. Those are really cool too. Alright, so I got the transformer out. Now, this right here is the output, uh, the high voltage output. You can attach a bigger wire to it. And the case itself is the ground. You can see right here the wire comes up and attaches to the, uh, the iron. Now, these two wires here, those are the middle coil. You know, um, and these two, you put 115, 60 hertz in, and uh, fires it up. So let's show you guys what a, what a microwave transformer can do, huh? Okay, so we got the uh, my fractal making box all hooked up. It's I left it outside. It's kind of falling apart, but then you flip the switch here. Let's get some shots of it in the dark. How about that, huh? <laughs> Look how bright it is. the breaker okay so the next thing that I'm going to remove is the magnetron the magnetron I don't know if you could hear me so we're gonna unplug this stuff unplug this stuff now I just put in a clip of what you can do with these magnetrons They're very dangerous. So if you see here, the magnetron is right here, and the top goes down this way, and then there's this channel. It says danger high voltage, discharge capacitor before servicing. Oh, I probably should have done that. Ha! <laughs> but it's been sitting in my shop for weeks on end without being plugged in, so it's fine. But this, this channel directs the microwaves down into the top. And then there's a, a, some of them have a fan that like dis, distributes the microwaves throughout the thing. But this one doesn't. That's why it has the tray on the other side on the bottom that spins. So you get an even coating of microwaves because it's the waveform is very long wavelength. So you get different like spots where it heats up the food so you spin the food and it gets an even heat through all those different uh 
more intense spots of microwave. Electro Boom did an excellent video on that. He used a thermal camera to show you the distribution of the microwaves through a cardboard box that he put in the microwave. And uh, it's very good video. I'll leave a link in the description. Alright, so I got it out. I got the uh, Magnetron out. So if you look, it would, you know, it you it would be easy to assume that the microwaves come out of this ring up here, but it actually comes out of this uh, uh, like steel wire brush type of look gang thing here. It gets emitted out of there, goes into this channel through, down through the channel, but I'm not going to do anything with it other than I'm going to take out these two big ring magnets out of it, and I'm going to show you guys what I use them for, but I mean, you can use it for anything like screw collection and refrigerator magnets and anything like that. So let's get this thing apart. So there's a way to uh, unclip this top plate here, but I'm just going to cut it off. The easier way, the cheater way. So one thing that I wasn't very careful about, but you need to be, is this white stuff right here and here. I think it's like beryllium dioxide or some shit like that. It's like, if you break it, it's extremely toxic. So I'm going to do my darndest to not break it. Alright, there's the first uh, ring magnet. The second one I'm going to have to cut off later, but to show you what I want to show you, um, I only need one. So, Okay, so this box that you see here is a plasma generator. Now you can make one of these from the flyback transformer from the CRT TV. Now, that's one thing that you can do with the CRT TV, but one thing that you can do with the microwave is that this is basically a Jacob's Ladder. Like, if I had two prongs coming out the top, it would operate like a Jacob's Ladder, but it's basically a plasma generator. So if I turn it on... I just broke my power supply. See if this will do it. Fuck. Here we go. So, that's what it does. So now I'm going to put the Met, uh, ring magnet in the uh, holder here. Okay, so now I just gotta get into this little configuration I just made here. Let me spin the screen out. Okay, so I gotta make sure this is center.
It's not spinning very well. But it smells like static. There it goes. Focus. Focus. So that's basically what it does. And uh, it's fun to play with, but always be careful when you're playing with uh, high voltage. If you can avoid it, then don't do it. Yeah. But uh, I like doing it, so as you guys have seen in my videos. But, so now uh, I'll give you an overview of the rest of the stuff that's in the microwave, but that's really the, the main cool stuff. Okay guys, so I, uh, wow, it looks like I have a lot of stuff in my face. Dirty in here. Well, I, uh, I removed the big cooling fan for uh, cooling down the magnetron. It just runs on uh, 115, 60 hertz, and it's good for many projects. It's a, uh, a what kind of motor is this called? I, I can't remember, but. There's also this motor. This is at the bottom of the microwave. I kind of had to pop the tabs off to get it, but it runs also on 115, 60 hertz. But this, the nice one about this one is it spins very slowly. So we're gonna throw both of those in my motor bin. And then this is the, uh, this is 2200 VAC volts, 5060 hertz, 0.92 microfarad. This is a badass capacitor. We're gonna throw this in my little capacitor bin. And then uh, there are some random electronics in the uh, circuit board that's in there. There's also a light bulb that runs off of uh, the 115-60 hertz. That's the same bulb that I used in the top of my fractal box, so it just, I didn't have to step any voltage down or anything, it just runs off the 115, and it's small, so it's nice, instead of using like a big incandescent bulb. And uh, the rest of it, you know, there's some scrap metal in there, there's some wire, but other than that, that's about it. I chucked the rest, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, sorry if it's boring, I'm getting back into sword making soon. Uh, hope I earned your subscription and uh, see you next time.